Hey, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm sorry. We did get your films back, as you can see. And if you look right here, where that, ear, that arrow is pointing, you'll see a little shadow right here on the bone, your radius, that indicates a fracture. So we're going to need to immobilize your wrist for about eight weeks to make sure that that fracture heals correctly. I know, it's not the best news. But it's better that we deal with it and we immobilize that arm so that you can heal, start healing right away. And then we will get you into physical therapy so that way you'll be back to normal, okay? I know, it's not ideal, but I promise you'll get through it. I have been through it myself. And I was actually pregnant at the time. It was a lot, but it was over before I knew it. And now it's just a memory. So. Okay, I'm just looking at your history here. Just making sure you don't have a history of neuropathy, do you? I'm not seeing it. On your intake paperwork. Okay. Well, we're going to do a quick exam here before we get you casted, just to make sure that there aren't any additional injuries of the soft tissue or even muscularly because sometimes like in, the, like in the instance now when you have a fracture that pain can distract you from feeling other sensations that might be occurring in the body or we compensate for that injury and then end up straining a different area of the body. So I just like to make sure that we know what's going on in the entire picture of your health. Okay? So, I'm gonna scoot closer to you. Is it okay if I touch you? Now, if you notice that there are any particular areas that are extremely painful or even just mildly uncomfortable, I want you to let me know, all right? Okay. So I'm actually going to start with your neck. Because a lot of the times when we feel stress due to an injury, or even in general. We tense our shoulders. Yeah, I can feel 
Theseus is a little hypertonic on your shoulders Coming around your neck We can get that massaged out for you Feeling both sides partially for a basis of comparison, but also our bodies can do something called neurologic mirroring, where an issue on one side can present similarly on the other side of the body. behind you and check your back to feel a little bit of hypertensity, particularly in your lower legs. You want to take a dive. To some dorsi on the left side. Those are areas where I would expect to see some level of tension, so not to worry. So I'm going to do here before we get into the castings. I'm just gonna check your range of motion here of your neck, okay? Make sure that's not impaired at all. So just 
like so. Just gonna turn your head. Okay. Is that okay? Are you feeling tightness? Any sort of radiating pain moving down the arms? make sure because having that tension and inflammation in the muscles can sometimes limit our range of motion and we definitely would want to address that if that's the case. make you dizzy at all. Okay, good. Alright. So I'm gonna grab my stethoscope here and I'm going to be listening for the pulses in your arm just to make sure that you're still getting good circulation. So... Sorry if this was uncomfortable, but I need to check your radial pulse. Okay. And I'm just going to listen to the old one on the other side of the wrist. Slightly perfect. Okay. Sounds good. make sure that we rule out any vascular injuries that could be occurring due to the inflammation either constricting your arteries, your veins, or the one of the bones compressing. Strange things happen, so. Mm. Now we're going to do a reflex test here. I'm not going to do the wrist. I am going to do the elbow joint, all right? And we're going to do it on both sides, just because, again, we want to make sure that 
there's no sign of neurologic mirroring and also to get a basis of comparison And have you close your eyes for me for just a few minutes, all right? I'm going to be squeezing. I want you to tell me which side you feel me squeeze as well as which part. So it's going to be between your shoulders and your upper arms. And then I also want you to let me know when you feel me release, okay? Close your eyes for me, okay? Good. Yes. Good.
you can open your eyes. So, all right. I think that we can proceed. set your arm on the tray. Let me just scoot my stool back. And we'll pull this Oops, come on. Over here in front of you, just like so. sure I watch for your feet here. Just like so, okay? Some more cast padding. Now clean off your arm very, very gently here. Gently, I'm just gonna rotate.
actually gonna stand to do this.
actually going to open the two. Holding it. So charm again. very
removed my gloves. But you can take your hand back, okay? Okay. How does that feel? But it's not too tight or anything. Okay. Good. We're still in a window where we can redo it. So, just want to make sure, right? I'm gonna get a new pair of gloves on since my previous pair got fiberglass and stickiness all over them. some tissue work on your neck on your shoulders here to help those muscles relax just a bit, okay? okay. so we're going to be using something called Biofreeze and you should be able to get this just at your local drugstore only provide temporary relief, but it uses menthol, which is a natural ingredient, so it's okay to use it multiple times a day.
to go apply it to the back. Now that's been thoroughly applied and massaged in, so now I'm going to get some lotion so we can do a little bit deeper tissue work here.
How's that feeling? Okay, good. So, real quick. Let me grab a tissue, actually, okay? There. some notes here while I visit this fresh in my mind.
Alright. So, I will make sure once I get these properly typed up to send a copy of my notes from today along with your x-ray films to your primary care physician, okay? In terms of management of the cast, it's very important that you keep it as clean and dry as possible. So, yes, showers actually don't need to be all that tricky. One trick, and it's going to seem kind of funny, is to take a garbage bag and put it over the arm and then use a scrunchie to sort of cinch it at the top here so no water gets in. It's more ideal than a rubber band because it's not going to be so tight, right? It's also important to keep it as clean as possible because the more dirt that gets in there, the more likely it is to start becoming itchy and then it makes it really difficult to live with. So, the cleaner you can keep the arm, the more comfortable you're going to be. And in terms of cleaning your exposed fingers, just using a washcloth and even tucking it into the cast a little bit. Just make sure to dry thoroughly afterwards so that way no moisture seeps in that could potentially macerate the skin. You know, your skin is currently not exposed, so the drier and cleaner we can keep it, the more comfortable you're ultimately going to stay, alright? So then, you'll need to come back in, let's say tentatively six weeks. There is a chance that things will have healed more quickly. We will do a repeat x-ray at that time. Then, if we don't see remodeling of the bone, we will need to recast the arm. But if we're seeing that the bone has healed itself, then we can graduate you into a splint, which is removable, and get you started on physical therapy at that time. Yeah. We'll be able to refer you to some different physical therapy options, some that are close to your home find the best fit for you because it's very important that you actually are able to go and do all of your sessions. Okay. Do you have any questions for me? Okay. Well, if that changes at all, give me a call. Also, if you start feeling increased pain, pain level higher than what you're able to treat with an over-the-counter anti-inflammatory or analgesic. What we recommend is to alternate between an analgesic and an anti-inflammatory every four hours. So you would start with, say, a Tylenol, and then four hours later, an ibuprofen or naproxen, and then four hours later, repeat the Tylenol, just to keep that pain and inflammation under control. We do have all of this typed up on a care sheet that I can have one of my medical assistants come in and give to you before you leave. Okay. We'll make sure that you stop at the scheduling desk on your way out so that way you definitely get an appointment time because let me tell you, at the end of this six weeks, you're going to want it. <laughs> so, yeah. And of course, like I said, me a call if you have any questions or concerns or need anything, all right? Okay. It was good to see you despite the circumstances. You take care, okay?